Hello guys, quite recently I've released a video on this channel about request boolean. So how you can perform the transition from like checkbox values of one or null or select drop downs yes or no. In your controller you can do request boolean and then you have true or false. If you haven't seen that video, the link will be in the description below. And I got a few comments on that video and decided to finish that example with form request validation. So the comment was this. Can you make an example to use request validated with form request? And as I'm a personal fan of form request class and I do use it here, why don't we shorten task create and use the validated array? So we have description string and those two boolean. And then instead of task create with filling everything, we do request validated like this. So it's much shorter, right? The problem is that the request is finished and request is active from the get form. They are not boolean, they are strings. So in the create blade, checkbox has value one, or if it's not checked, then it would come as null. And then for the select dropdown, we have the list of values with yes or no. So it's not boolean, so that validation will fail. Let's actually try it out. If we just fill something with fake filler, we save the active field must be true or false. So if we put boolean validation rule in the form request here, then it doesn't work. So what can we do? In the form request classes, you can transform the request inputs, the request values before the validation. For that, I will paste it from my notes. There is a method called prepare for validation. Basically, you take request is finished, request is active, or request whatever is your variable name. You can refer to them as this inside a form request class. And then you transform the values and do request merge or this merge, and then is finished become whatever is that on the right side, which is boolean. And then in the controller, we remove that tasks create like this, leave the validated, and let's try it out. Refresh the form. Let's leave that unchecked, leave that as yes, and it is successful. That unchecked, that yes, so it all worked. And by the way, what I didn't mention is in the database, both fields are boolean like this. So table boolean is finished and is active, which actually transforms into tiny integer on my SQL level, but basically it's zero or one. So the main point and the main message of this video is that you can transform the input from your front end. It may be JavaScript, it may be mobile application. In some cases, you don't have any control about the front end data. So people pass that to you in their format, for example, mobile app creator team that you don't have control over. And then you need to transform the values into backend validation. So you transform it here, and then those new values stay for the validation and for saving the data here. That's it, a quick tip. If you want more quick tips, subscribe to the channel because I keep shooting daily videos for now. And also you can support my channel. One of the ways is to go to laraveldaily.gumroad.com where I sell a few scripts with Livewire and an ebook Laravel bad practices with some practices coming from the reviews on this YouTube channel as well. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.